guys it's been two weeks Shelby's been in the shop for two weeks now I got the car and then two weeks later it goes into the shop for AC issues and then something with the radiator but we got this nice uh, Ford Edge rental all right we are in the Ford Edge about to head over to the dealership finally and I've been so impatient it's been a lot better the past uh i guess several days but um i mean i was pretty impatient um, you know just trying to get the car back i mean i literally just got the car and now it's in the shop for two weeks so yeah they hooked us up with a nice loaner um this thing only has like 1800 miles um i mean it's nice it's got the gt500 shift knob <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but the new Shelby GT500 it has this dial for it's an automatic, um, only comes automatic. But this thing has wireless CarPlay. I was surprised by that. It has wireless charging down there. But I'm ready to be back in the Shelby. So we're here at the service center at the dealership. So I'm about to go inside. But um, yeah, this car, nice car that they gave us is a loaner, nice little SUV. Um, and also, just to be clear, uh, we got it just for the weekend. Um, I was supposed to get the car back on Friday, but I'll talk about it. But we ran into some, uh, they ran into some issues. So um, it's Monday today, so it's three days later, um, picking up the car now. So they gave us a loaner for the, the weekend for free. Um, so, yeah. All right. <sighs> Excited to be back in the Shelby, finally. And we'll see how the Cup 2 tires do in the rain, because I've never driven them in the rain. So it's warm, so that should help, but I'm going to be careful. All right, let's go. Two weeks later, but yeah, we're back in the car finally. Um, and we're going to be careful as we drive back home since it's raining um, and all that. So yeah, I'm just excited to have the car back. And let's get back home safely home sweet home the Shelby is finally back and it feels so good to have the car back in the garage um, yeah it's been <laughs> it's only been two weeks but it's felt like forever just to explain things um, the reason it went into the shop was because of Two main things. Let me pop the hood too. AC wasn't working like at all. Um, it's cold here right now. So, um, and the place where we got it from was super cold, um, like winter months. So, I mean, there's, you know, like you couldn't like vi like really tell um, if it was blowing cold air. But let me pop this hood. Um, that was the first thing, it wasn't, AC was not blowing cold air. I, I mean, you can easily tell. Um, obviously when it's cold outside, it's gonna be uh, blowing cold air in the, in, in, inside, no matter what. But uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't blowing any cold air. Cause when we turn on the AC for like, even after 10 minutes, the, the air didn't get any colder. So that's when, you know, I knew. I, you know, if you've done your research too, like, um, I think it's mainly the 15, 2015 to 2017 model years, um, all Mustangs, not the, not the, not just Shelby's, uh, they all have this, uh, AC evaporator issue. That's exactly what it was. Um, I'll go over the sheet too in a second. All right, guys, just to go over the sheet that the dealership gave, the first thing was that a coolant reservoir tank, then um, you know, replacing that. And then the screws that kept the battery cover in place were also missing. So I had them just put uh, screws in. And then I guess those are just some checks. And then this uh, is where the, the big AC job comes in. Um, you can see like every part and all that that they use to fix it and then it's the hundred dollar deductible so yeah that's all of it but yeah they had to fix the ac and then the other thing 
Let me try to pop this or open this hood up. I'll put a I'll put a before picture of this. Obviously, you can tell, like, if you looked at the picture before, this looks so much better. When I say this, like, this uh, coolant reservoir, engine coolant reservoir, that looks good now. Um, I think AC was, like, when I got in the car, it was blowing cold air, um, so I think they fixed the AC too, but I'll test that out. We are back in business, hopefully, um, for a good bit. We don't have to deal with any crap like that again. So, anyways, this AC issue... Oh, man. It is a miserable job, like, and it's a pro it's a known problem too. That's what sucks. The people who do this, the techs, like, I feel bad for them because it's a known issue. Like, even my service advisor, she was saying, yeah, like, it's a common issue. And I asked, like, is this the one where the whole dash needs to get removed? And she's like, yep, it does. So, and when I say whole dash, like, if you don't know... I mean, literally, I don't even know everything that came off, but I'm pretty sure they took off like everything here. The steering wheel, the center screen, this was all, this whole like piece right here, like this whole thing, all of this was taken off. Cause there, there's actually a picture um, that the service advisor sent me. So I was supposed to get my car back on Friday and I didn't. The reason was um, they, they cracked the windshield. Like there was a huge, um, I mean, it's not, they replaced the windshields. So you're not gonna be able to see it. Uh, maybe I'll put a before picture. There was a huge track, huge crack, like from, you know, like somewhere down here, um, all the way up like to here. It was a big crack. Um, so something like when they were messing around with the ac job they accidentally cracked the windshield um surprisingly i wasn't ups too upset by it I honestly thought like i'd be way more upset by it but i wasn't um so that was fine like they told me on friday um i was supposed to get my car back on friday and then i get a call from her friday morning saying hey we cracked the windshield we're gonna get it fully replaced um and you know they we're gonna do that on Monday. The only thing was uh, the dash cam was attached. I had already I had already attached the front dash cam. I haven't attached the rear yet, but I already, I had already attached the front dash cam. So I think they took it off and um, put it back on. So looks fine. But yeah, they cracked the windshield, so they had to replace the whole thing. Um, so they had a company come do it today. Um, it's the OEM windshield um, full replacement. Um, which is obviously nice, like, and um, none of this stuff, like, I had to pay out of pocket for. The only thing I paid for was a $100 deductible, thankfully, because we got the full warranty. Um, and either way, even if we didn't get that warranty, and, you know, I was, exp the, the charge she sent me was almost $2,000 for those two things, the AC and the, uh, you know, that uh, coolant reservoir, coolant tank, so... I paid a deductible for $100, um, which is way nicer than $2,000, but either way, like, obviously we had just bought the car, you know, it, it's been like exactly, I think one month since we bought the car. So obviously I'm almost a hundred percent sure AC was gone. Um, I should, I never tested it. That was my fault. I knew there was an AC issue and I think in just all the excitement and all that, I just wanted to get the car back home and I didn't check for it. Um, I don't, I mean, honestly, at that point, I should have had the salesman check for it. He did so much, or even if we heard the AC issue, um, or like felt the AC issue, like there's not much we could have done because we flew in that weekend. We needed to get it back um, that weekend. Like we flew in Saturday afternoon and we had to get it back Sunday because we were, um, and obviously we had to work on uh, Monday. We didn't take off or anything. So we flew in Saturday and then drove it back Saturday night and uh, the Sunday during the day. So, I mean, there's not much we could have done, but obviously like if we didn't get warranty, the AC, um, I mean, I would have fought so hard for that, like with the dealership. Um, and I mean, I'm sure they would have uh, at least helped out, but I'm sure they would have paid for their great dealership. Sorry, I've been kind of ranting, but it's been a long 
two weeks. You know, I had the car for two weeks and then it's just in the shop for two weeks. So that really sucked. Um, <laughs> that was really frustrating, uh, just waiting and waiting. Um, but I'm thankful it's back. Hopefully, you know, that new windshield, it looks fine. Yeah, I don't really see any issues with the windshield. So I think it was a, actually a good thing that it was raining because, you know, it would have probably, um, it, it's probably a good signal. Um, <laughs> if I see water somewhere here, meaning, you know, the windshield wasn't installed properly, but I think it was. Um, I'll keep you guys updated if something goes wrong there. But yeah, it's finally back. I'm so glad to have it back in the garage. Um, yeah, guys, just stay tuned. Cup 2s did fine in the rain. Um, I kept it really, I mean, I was driving really slow. I wasn't revving it out or anything like that. I didn't do any pulls. I didn't floor it, obviously. I'm not dumb. Um, and yeah, it was just low speeds. So I didn't go on the highway at all either. Avoided standing water, standing wa yeah, standing water at all costs in these tires. <laughs> That's what I've heard. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, it's unfortunate that we just got the car and there's already issues, but thankful to have it back. And we're gonna keep making content for you guys. So once again, thanks for watching. Cars but no coffee. And I'll catch you guys next time.